Hey guys, it's me, Jonathan Mejia here. I have these carnivorous plants, uh, Saracenia rigliana. And as you can see, some of the old growth right here, the leaves are turning brown, and they're, they're really not pretty at all. But they have a lot of these uh, new leaves coming out. There's one here, one in the back over there, one right here. And uh, what I want to do is get rid of some of the old growth. I'll keep the phyllodes. The phyllodes are the small non-pitcher leaves. You see them right here. I'll keep those around, but uh, I, I really want to clip these plants back a bit. I have here a uh, paper that I put on my table, and over there a pair of scissors uh, to do the clipping. Saracenia is the genus for American pitcher plants. American pitcher plants, obviously, they live in America. This one right here is a uh, Saracenia rigliana. You can see how messed up the ends of the pitchers were, the old pitchers. These are leaves that, that started turning brown during the dormancy when they got uh, less light over the winter. Saracenia rigliana is a hybrid between Saracenia satacana and Saracenia leucophila. Now, leucophila is a really uh, tall growing plant. And uh, you can see traits of each parent. From the Satakana, it got the, the hood. Satakana, the parrot pitcher plant, has a hood like that. And uh, the shape, uh, Leucophila, is more upright with very, very tall pitcher. Saracenia leucophila's common name is the white top pitcher plant. Pitchers have been on for quite some time. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to clip the pitchers without hurting the base of the plant. It has two growing points as of now. It has this growing point up here. It has a growing point right here on the side, but right there is uh, another small pitcher that's going to form. So this is one of my Saracenia rigniana. Uh, the pitchers are clipped, it's just left with now uh, phyllodes and uh, the new growth from this year. And these here are all the old pitchers, so I just put them off to the side, I don't know what I'm going to do with He's ready to go back in the tank uh, along with my fly traps. And uh, many, many, many sundews. Pull out another one. I wanted to do all three of my Saracenia rigliana today. I'm planning on selling or trading uh, some of my rigliana this year. My Saracenia rigliana, I divided it last year and I had three growing points in one plant. So I divided up the separate growing points and now I have three separate plants. And they all seem to be doing very well. But I'd like to have uh, other Saracenia as well, not just Rigliana. So why am I caring so much about these Saracenia Rigliana? Why don't I just leave the old pictures there? Well, first of all, it's in a tank, and a bunch of dead pictures in the tank might become a bit unsightly, which is not cool. The second reason is if on trading these uh, Saracenia Rigliana that I have uh, for other types of pitcher plants or other carnivorous plants. I already have Saracenia purpurea growing from seed, but if you want to trade me uh, for one of my Saracenia rigliana that ah, I'm trying to take care of now. If you want to trade one of my Saracenia rigliana for one of your uh, pitcher plants, it could be any type of hybrid or cultivar, uh, just let me know. Send me a message and I'll be like, um, yeah, sure. Saracenia is my favorite genus of plant, so let's see what else we have here. This one's more difficult because uh, the base is like sunken in a bit. So here we are, three Saracenia rigliana that I have. One of them is for a friend, one for my own personal collection, and uh, one is for trade. Oh, this is a bunch of dead pictures. I also have a lot of small sundews to trade. But we'll talk about sundews a bit later. I think next week I'll start dividing up my sundews because I have a lot and I don't know how many I have. So I have one Saracenia rigliana to trade, and as you can see, there's new growth on all of these. These uh, small pitchers over here, small pitcher over here, and over here we have a few small pitchers. They're recently clipped. A lot of people might have actually clipped their old Saracenia leaves in February and March. In New York City, it stays colder for a bit longer. Most likely, I'll be trading this plant. This one is for my friend Ernie DeMarie, and this one is for my own personal collection. I want to give this one to DeMarie because it has a few uh, growing points in there. Thanks for watching.